What is up, peeps? I don't know. I'm hoping that this sound comes out okay. I'm just getting ready to do a little bit of dishes, and I figured I haven't been around this weekend much because um, of a couple of different reasons, and I was like, well, I need to record a vlog. I uh, don't need to have those earphones in right now. I need to record a vlog. I have a couple of vlog every days in May to do, um, and I am still doing vlog every day in May, but... Um, I'm giving myself a couple of excused absences with the opportunity to make up the work. So, um, I'll be posting those vlogs today as I just do stuff. Um, I'm about to be making some, some, uh, um, tuna, uh, patties that are low carb. And, um, that Angie Lou showed me the recipe for, and I said that I was going to cook for you. Now, I did take some footage, and I am going to be posting said footage. So, these vlog every day in May, um, it may be superfluous, um, content as far as me showing you something that I'm going to show you again. However, um, I'm not really going to teach you how to do it in these vlogs. I'm just going to kind of talk to you as I cook and stuff. So, I'm going to start washing some dishes. I'm sure you're actually going to be able to hear the water, I apologize for that, but that's just kind of what you would hear if you were here hanging out with me, so I guess, you know, it's all good. The dishwashing liquid that I use, this is the only stuff that I will use, palm olive antibacterial. I'm not opposed to the palm olives that smell nice and shishi poo poo and loud sound and all that jazz, but um... But I don't, um, I don't like using, this is loud, cleaning a pan, I mean a pot, a uh, skillet. Uh, I don't like using a uh, dish detergent that isn't um, antibacterial. And I know that certain antibacterial, or I know that antibacterial stuff is really bad for the environment and stuff, but... And I care about that, but like, I just can't get past my need to have really clean things to eat off of. And so I'm a selfish ass. And I'll take that. Um, any of you can say that. Whatevs. It's all good. I already know that. Um, I used to love doing dishes. Well, I still do actually. I just don't really do dishes that much because uh, I do dishes, but... We've had a dishwasher for so long that I've kind of gotten in the habit of using the dishwasher and just letting it go through that and whatever. And, um, but I used to put on my earphones and listen to music, and this is quite loud. I hope, hope it's not too bad for you guys. Um, I used to love doing dishes and like listening to music and just kind of zoning out. It would almost be like my meditation. You know, I would always like wash dishes, space out. Um, when we lived in Reading, I didn't like the kitchen sink. Now, I know you're probably like, what? You didn't like your kitchen sink? Well, the kitchen sink was in front of a wall and there was a mirror. And so the whole time, if I'm looking forward, it was like awkward because I'm staring at myself. But now, check this out. That is what I see when I wash dishes. And y'all can't tell me that that's not pretty. Um, I messed up this now. Watch. It's going to be like, ew, I don't want to go back in. Actually, maybe if I do that. Yeah, that'll hold. But you guys got there. Fantastic. So, um,. Now I'm going to have the habit of, like, checking out, like, looking to the side to make sure that you guys can still see me. Although, why you wouldn't be able to is beyond me. You should be able to. So, um, yeah, I used to love washing dishes, but when I lived in Reading, I didn't like that kitchen because you were looking at a mirror of yourself. Like, even if I, um, even if I didn't, I'm going to have to let the water run. Sorry, peeps. Even if I didn't have a mirror in front of, like, when we move, I don't think there's a window in front of the sink. And I'm alright with that as long as there's not a mirror. I don't want to have to stare at myself. I mean, I don't, I'm goddamn handsome, but I don't want to stare at myself the whole time I'm doing dishes. 
That's just awkward. That's like, hello, self. You're washing dishes. Bye, Joe. Jolly good show, mate. No, why? I don't want to stare at myself and do dishes. I don't care. It's just awkward. But, um, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, recently I've been cooking more. And, um, uh, like, what was it? The night before last night, I made the tuna patties. And I actually enjoyed them so much. I'm like, am I going to make those again? Only this time, I'm going to, uh, add some garlic and roasted peppers because that wouldn't add any carbs and it wouldn't, shouldn't add any calories really because it's like a dry herb type deal. I'll show you when I add it. I got something in my eye. My eye. I don't just get something in my eye when my fingers are wet. So it takes some contact out. Why? That was painful. Huh. I'm sure that was attractive. I'm sure the expressions I just made were like, you guys were like, that was awesome, man. I'm sorry, my bad. Got something in my eye. And now I gotta wipe the other eye just for, just for the balance. The balance in the universe to be restored or some shit, I don't know. So, I'm talking about washing dishes to avoid talking about what I really need to talk about, which is something that I don't want to talk about, but I kind of need to talk about because I tell you guys everything, and so you should know what's going on. Well, I don't tell you everything, but pretty close, actually. Those of you that watch every single one of my videos, you actually know me a lot better than some of my uh, family and some of my real-life friends. Because, um, what is going on with my face today? Um, don't answer that. Don't answer that. Don't get mean. I will come through that lens and I will put a hurt knowing it. Um, I'm kidding. I threaten physical violence, but it doesn't happen. Unless you're lucky. No, I'm kidding. That was a joke. That was a joke. Nobody will lose their britches. That was a joke. Um, but yeah, so, um, I'm still procrastinating. So, yesterday, um, we took Phoebe down to Bird Tower and we rehomed her. Well, didn't technically rehome her yet, but she's on her way. I really hope you guys can hear me. Because I don't want to talk about this twice. You see the bubbles? Oh, you probably didn't. Let me see if it does again. It kind of makes bubbles. You see it? It's like, I don't know. Um, it was incredibly hard. It was really hard. It sucked. She's my baby, you know? And I don't, I don't know. I'm not proud. I feel ashamed of myself for not being able to take her. I feel ashamed of myself for giving her up. I kind of felt a lot like my dad. You guys know I wasn't raised by my mom and my dad until I didn't move in with my mom until I was like 14. Well, I might have been right before my 14th birthday. I think I was like 13 and three quarters, 13 and almost 14, I think. That's why you should keep journals because um, I'm going off on a tangent again to try and avoid talking about Phoebe. Um, been a whole lot of stuff going on lately, Pete. It's been a lot, and it's not been fun. Um, some of it's been fun. Like, some of the best changes of my life have happened recently. You know, finding Andy Lou, that's like the best. Like, for real. Um, seriously, honey, if you're watching this, you make me so happy. Like, you really do. I make me happy, but like, you make it happen. Um, I'm not crying. I got itchy face. I don't know why. I'm allergic. Ah, why? I don't even know what that was. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say about it except that Bird Paradise and Jack, he's one of the owners, 
Jack and his wife own Bird Paradise, and they are absolutely amazing. Um, if Phoebe can't find a home, she's going to actually go down to their, um, I can't think of what it's called right now, but their san sanctuary, that's it, their sanctuary down in Florida, and she's going to live there, and I'm excited, like, to have her, actually, that makes me happy, the idea of her going down to their bird sanctuary and having a happy, you know, life, that would be just amazing and awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know. Because I've been that person in my life that when people give up on their animals for whatever reason, I don't really accept excuses. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Make it work. But now I see. Sometimes life throws you a curveball. And sometimes it feels like things happen for a reason, even when they suck. It's like, well, she wasn't getting as much attention with us. Ugh. What is... Why is my face itchy? This is not funny. <laughs> I'm having, like, massive itchy face going on. Uh, come on. For real? Why is it a suit? As soon as your hands are wet, you get hair all over Frames. 